Hello, everyone. I am Juhan from Seoul National University. I am delighted to introduce our work, Eagle Eye, which is an AR system to find a missing person in crowded spaces. This work was done in collaboration with Dr. Sanghyun Choi at Samsung Research Korea and my advisor, Professor Young Ki Lee. In our everyday lives, there are many cases where we need to find a target person in crowded spaces. A police officer chasing a crime suspect is one example. A kindergarten instructor monitoring a group of children in a field trip is another one. How good are we at finding a person in crowded scenes? For example, take a look at the picture that we have taken in a crowded subway station. Can you try finding where this man on the left top is in the scene? Actually, he is over here. Most of you will have had problem finding him very quickly, mainly because of two reasons. First, there are many faces in the scene. And second, the faces appear very small. Our user study actually shows that even for young college students with sharp cognitive abilities, it takes as high as 16 seconds to find a target in a crowded scene. And the accuracy drops to 75%. Motivated by the problem, we propose Eagle Eye an AR system where the user would scan the crowded scene with his AR glass or mobile device, and the device runs the DNN-based face identification algorithm and pinpoints where the target is in real time. There are two key challenges in designing Eagle Eye. The first challenge is the identification accuracy. When we take a photo of a crowded scene from distance, faces up appear very small, with most of the facial details missing. This makes accurate recognition very difficult, even for the state-of-the-art DNNs. The second challenge is the computational complexity. Face identification algorithm requires to run a sequence of DNNs repetitively. Specifically, the face detection network should run on a high-resolution scene image to detect the small faces, and the recognition network should run on each face detected. This workload is very challenge challenging to run in real time on resource constrained mobile devices. To tackle the accuracy challenge, we designed a specialized network that can reconstruct high resolution faces to enhance the recognition accuracy. We named it the Identity Clarification Network, or ICN in short, which looks like the figure in the slide. It is empowered by several state of the art techniques to achieve the goal. First, we utilize a face landmark estimation work to help the face reconstruction process. We also employ the face feature extractor and a face similarity loss to preserve the identity features in the reconstructed faces. Finally, we utilize a discriminator-based training architecture used in state-of-the-art GANs to make the reconstructed faces look realistic. To tackle the latency challenge, we design a technique called the Content Adaptive Parallel Execution, which applies different pipelines depending on the scene content to accelerate the multi-DNN face identification latency. First, given an input scene, there are many regions containing no faces at all. Edge-based background filtering removes such background regions to avoid the waste of computation. Second, for the remaining regions, the detected faces have various recognition difficulties based on how it is captured. Variation adaptive face recognition adaptively selects the recognition pipeline for each detected face based on its recognition difficulty. Finally, identifying faces in different regions of the scene is spatially independent. Spatial pipelining processes these regions in parallel over mobile and cloud. Our key evaluation results are summarized as follows. First, ICN enhances the true positive by 78% with the cost of marginal 14% increase in the false positive. Second, Eagle Eye enhances the end-to-end -end latency by nine times compared to full-on device execution. Finally, Eagle Eye outperforms both full-on device and full offloading solutions with only 108 kilobyte, kilobytes offloaded, efficiently balancing the workload over mobile and cloud resources. For more details, please refer to our full paper and video. Contact us in case you have any questions. Thank you.